to this, so I suspect a lot of malware researchers in the near future are going to have a lot of stuff to say about this particular slide. I'll leave that to them. I think it's very important to go looking for these things, especially to find out who is victimized by them. Uh, here's an iPhone backdoor. So um, dropout Jeep, so you can see right there. So <clears throat> SMS, contact uh, list retrieval, voicemail, hot microphone, camera capture, cell tower location. Cool. Do you think Apple helped them with that? I don't know. I hope Apple will clarify that. I think it's really important that Apple doesn't. Here's a problem. I don't really believe that Apple didn't help them. I can't prove it yet, but they literally claim that any time they target an iOS device, that it will succeed for implantation. Either they have a huge collection of exploits that work against Apple products, meaning that they are hoarding information about critical systems that American companies produce and sabotaging them, or Apple sabotaged it themselves. Not sure which one it is. I'd like to believe that since Apple didn't join the prison program until after Steve Jobs died, that maybe it's just they write, that they write shitty software. We know that's true. Uh, here's a HVT, high value target. Um, this is a high value target being targeted with a backdoor for Windows CE Thuraya phones. So if you have a Thuraya phone and you were wondering if it was secure, yeah, maybe. Good luck. Here's one where they replaced the hard drive firmware. There was a talk at 